Welcome back for topic 3.4, else if statements. This is multi-way selection, and in this video we're going to look at Bo and JJ and how multi-way selection impacts their conversation. Here's our diagram from the previous video showing that we're still testing a condition, whether it evaluates to true or false, but we have many options for our else condition. So remember how the Magpie Lab begins. Um, JJ's going to say hello, let's talk, and Bo's liable to say nothing, and say something please was the, the ask. No, I'm busy. So here we're going to see a different implementation in the code. Why so negative? So what I'm going to tell you as kind of like um, the rest of the story is no at the beginning of the statement is kind of the trigger for this why so negative prompt in the chat bot. So the answer was my brother is annoying me. I have an older brother and I actually annoyed him way more than he annoyed me. But um, my brother's annoying me and now let's see what we get. Tell me more about your family. Um, so tell me more about this brother. So let's look at the code and, and kind of practice how this is applied in the Magpie Lab. So we're still working off the, the beginning piece of the Magpie code. Um, this is really presented in Activity 2, but it carries forward. Um, we see the opening um, statement. If the statement length is zero, tell me something, please. We looked at this in a prior video. But our else if here is if the statement has um, the letters no, um, the characters no, anywhere um, in it, the word no is there, um, greater than or equal to the zero position in the statement, um, it's going to respond with why so negative. Another one of the else ifs is if it sees the word mother, father, sister, brother, it's going to respond with tell me more about your family. Now, in your implementation, you may want to have it um, talk about, you know, hobbies, sports, um, teams, animals. I think in Activity 2 of Magpie, it suggests that you change some of the, the um, conversation to apply to cats or dogs um, and ask about, you know, your pets. So um, the use of an else if here is um, in this compound statement where it's looking for and I'll kind of expound it as I point out the things that I've been talking about. Um, it's looking for any of a bundle of things, but I want you to notice here that the find keyword in the statement, the word mother, could be anywhere in the statement greater than or equal to the zero position, or father, or sister, or brother. Um, so any of those operators could be a piece of this code, and you can, of course, fashion your own statements that come off of other words that might make it more meaningful to you. And then say, tell me more about your family, because the role of the chatbot is really to get the user to talk more. All right, so here's another piece of code I want to point out that uses else if effectively in Magpie. So hello, let's talk. Sweet little JJ starting a conversation, and Bo says, I want some ice cream. Um, would you be happy if you had ice cream? This should hopefully remind you of what we saw in the previous um, topics video where it says, um, do you really, what do you really know me, or um, it's doing that transforming of the sentence. So let's look at what this looks like in code and what's triggering this. Um, Bo says, of course I would. He wants anything to eat anytime. Do you really think so? No. What do you think you're going to get next? I hope you said, why so negative? Anytime it sees no, it's going to cycle to that, why are you being so negative? Um, so we have a happy, positive chatbot. Um, so here's the else if portion that works off of I want to or I want. I want popcorn. I want to go ride my bike. I want to, um, you know, have pizza for dinner. Um, whatever the I want is, um, those are the statements that also trigger the transformation. And you saw this in the previous video um, with the use of else. So um, 
I hope that you've kind of been inspired to think about using else, if, and selection in general to create either your own unique spin on a cool selection lab or a role play scenario. Now, what I've cut off down here is the else portion. So I'm going to kind of leave you hanging with a cliffhanger here. Um, what else is happening in Magpie if none of these else ifs are true? Um, it ends with the else. I mentioned this in the previous topic video for 3.4. Typically, you're going to see an if, else if, else if, else if, and then it's going to finally end with an else. Um, my guess is, I don't know, I haven't looked like in the last five minutes, um, it probably grabs a random something out of the pool, but we would have to see. So I'll leave you with this. Um, else if gives us infinite reasons and options for chatting, and um, that's what the whole goal was of the lab. So I hope that um, this will inspire you to write some fun code. Here's what I want you to take away from this topic. We use multi-way selection with the if, else, if, um, to create many options and branches in our code. And um, hope you come back for the next series of videos where you talk about um, compound um, and compounding and finish out unit three. Um, thank you for watching.